friends we have made it to the end of homeschooling curriculum choices today we're going to talk about my last child my firstborn who is my fifth grader and all the things we have chosen for her this school year Welcome to Happy Plan Homeschool. My name is Tanya and I'm a homeschooling mom to four kiddos. If you're new around here, I have previously filmed all of our together subjects as well as um, individual subjects for my th three-year-old who's like our pre-K, our um, fifth grader, fifth grader, our five-year-old who is my kinder slash first. Then we have my third grade son as well. So today we're gonna to talk about my fifth grader and you will see as I turn the camera around, she is our reader. She has a big stack of read alouds and I bet you I might have to add to it. Um, let's see what else. She is just our go-getter. She was reading at the age of three. She is my kid who is a history bluff. She loved, fell in love with reading or I'm sorry, she fell in love with writing last year. She is the reason we homeschool, I will not lie. <laughs> like, I was like, let's give this a shot. And then because of her and her determination, and then my son came along, and I talked about that last video, um, how he just is my nonfiction kid, and he just is all things tinkering and nonfiction. He's my kid who wants to learn about all the things and watch all the documentaries. So they keep us fresh on our toes and I love it. So let's turn the camera around and let's see what I picked out this year for our fifth grade daughter. I keep saying read alouds friends. I mean independent reading. I've done that in every video. I'm so not used to saying independent readers. My kids and I are really working on them and doing their independent reading, but this is her huge, huge step. So the first book she chose was The Secret Lake, and this is such a cute little book. And then this is her book journal, which I'm trying to make a little bit of interactive, but she is not, like she's a get in and get out kind of girl. So I'm letting her have some freedom with it. And um, like you can tell, she doesn't love to write notes. She has been writing out a few things. I literally cut these out, y'all, and I got them from Teachers Pay Teachers. But it gets the point across of what I want her to really be focusing on as well. So that has helped in my whole book journal and what I want her to accomplish out of that. Here is her big stack of reading, independent reading that I have. Some of these are super easy reads um, because she reads so much. I don't want her to always be reading novels and so I pulled out some oldies but goodies. She has been reading these for years and she loves them. This was a new one for us so hopefully there's more I think in the series that she'll like and then these ones she has told me she read but I would like to, her to do a book companion study with it so there's that one this one actually she is kind of reading aloud or reading on her own but my husband is reading it to all the kids so and then that is that other one i knew there was another one that is new to us this year so that's her huge stack of independent readers that i'm not joking i may need to add to come february <laughs> she might get through all that for writing this year, she is doing Fables, Myths, and Fairy Tales. She is so excited and has asked me to start it like every day. <laughs> and um, so I'm looking forward to having her do that this year for writing. Reading for spelling, she also does Jack Chris and she is in level three. She also as well has The Curse of Knowledge by IEW and is a little bit further along than my son is. But again, they do this on their own time. They love this program. I put math three here just to remind myself to talk about math because she does it online. Um, and I don't have anything to show you for that, but she's in level five. 
This is her academy. She picked chef this year and then she loves mysteries. And so she has her own write your own mystery book by Osborne Books and more. And I um, love that she just can go to town and just pick her own plot and write her own story with that. And then most of the projects in here are independent. There's a few that she's needed my help with, but she goes through all of this on her own. And if you missed any of my last videos, I talked about with my son, who is our third grader this year, he has the architect and he has the comic. And these are things they do on their own time, either when they're waiting for me or it's quiet time and they need something to do, they go and pick these out. For science, she also has her own My Body, God's Design. We got through some of this last year and not all of it. We skipped around quite a lot, but this year we're gonna get dive deep and really focus on the body. And so she has her own Scholastic um, Body book as well. And then her own Astronaut Academy because we will be going into space for our second half of the school year. And that is everything I have to show you guys for my fifth grader this school year, 2020, 2021. And I hope that gave you guys some ideas. Comment below, let me know if you have any questions, you wanna see a flip through, and I'll be happy to answer. We'll talk to you later. Bye friends.